Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm your host, Kara Savio. Joining me in studio now are Scott Legrand and Mike Petty. They're here to tell us about Karaoke Man, the recent film, and you guys are here for the St. Louis International Film Festival. That's correct, which, yeah. That's very exciting. And I gotta tell you, I'm excited because this is a romantic comedy. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell me a little bit about it? You are the writer-director. Right, I wrote it with my writing partner, Kevin Gazowski. Scott's the producer. Okay. Right. So tell us a little bit about this. This is one of those feel-good movies. Yeah, it is. It's, it's a little bit different for a film festival. It's not a real film festival movie where things, a lot of film festival movies are a little more serious, a little hard-hitting. Um, but it's, it's a real kind of human relationship story, but it's about an introverted guy who moves to the big city, falls in love with the first girl he sees, and turns out that she's a hostess at a karaoke bar. He knows that if he can just get up there and sing, he might be able to make an impression. He tries, he fails miserably. Fails because he can't sing good? He, can't, he faints. Oh. He's just so nervous, Nerd. he's so shy, that he just flat out faints. And he thinks, that's it, I, I, I had I my one it. chance and I blew it. And someone says to him, you know what you need? You need a costume. Costumes provide power. And he says, I'll, I'll try it. And because he works at a comic book shop, they have this very old kind of antique superhero costume. And he steals it, oh, tries no. it on, he goes, he sings, and it works. And, but is she really falling in love with him or the other guy? And right. then, so there's a little bit of conflict there. And then, so now the rest of the movie is, do, do I personally, you know, he says to himself, can I do it without the costume? Can I make her fall in love with me and not the guy I was pretending to be. And then that becomes the rest of the story. So it's so, really fun. It's and really you're gonna fun. tell us the sweet. end. Of course, they end up together, right? Everything well, is wonderful. You know, we gotta go I don't see know. it. What do you think? It's about Saturday this year. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that is Saturday at the Film Festival. It sounds really, you guys, like an interesting. We're gonna talk when we come back, too. We've got another segment. But Scott, you are from St. Louis. I am. I graduated from Parkway South High School. So that's kind of neat coming back yeah, here to the really festival. Nice. And a lot of the cast and crew have supported me, and they're all flying back, too. So we have Brian Dietzen from NCIS, who plays our Lewis. We have James Denton from Desperate Housewives. The plumber. The plumber, the plumber, Mike Delfino, the plumber. Uh -huh. And uh, Caitlin Crosby is a pretty well-known singer-songwriter that uh, Petty found and we hunted down. Um, Catherine Gordon, who's also from the area, has flown out. Um, Mark Evan Jackson from the State Farm commercials. Okay. Um, he's one of those crazy characters in those. Yes. But he's also in a bunch of other things from Transformers and a couple of things. And they were all like, well, it's your hometown. we got to come out and support. So they're all coming out for the screening Saturday at 4 at the Tivoli. Yeah, yes. we, should have, we will have... I guarantee you we will have a fun Q&A after this movie because those guys are all great. They'll share a, bunch, share a bunch of great stories. And Mark Evan Jackson is probably the funniest person on the planet. Yeah, he's is he the state, yeah. he's the state he, farm? He, he's in the State Farm commercials uh -huh. where they, they're at State Farm University. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, he, okay. and he's, a, he's a huge Second City guy, great improv performer. Now what's his part in this? Uh, he plays the, uh, when Lewis moves to the big city, he rents a room from Mark Evan Jackson's character. Okay. Yeah. And he sort of acts as, as his mentor on the trip in the big city and how, and helps him find his way and gives him some advice. Gives him some advice. Right, yeah. right. Okay, I think that's cool. Well, we've got a couple, uh, here we've got, we're gonna show you right now. November 19th, it's at 4 p.m., right? You guys yes. at the Tivoli. Correct. And yeah, which is a really cool theater. We went by beautiful. the other day. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. gorgeous, yeah. isn't it? And there's, yeah. and there's there's a lot of seats. I think it holds 450 people. You hear that, so. guys? 450 people. Yeah, so, so come there's on plenty out. of There'll room for all of our room. STL yeah. viewers. Yep, yeah, it's great. And then uh, there's an after party at the Blueberry. So if you come oh, out, we'll uh, we'll help you figure out how to get into the Blueberry with us and hang out with the cast and crew. With the cat, with the plumber from Dead. Yeah, oh, yeah, they, they, they've all the they've all committed to hanging yeah, out yeah, and yeah. saying hello to St. Louis. And, and Jimmy from NCIS. And Jimmy We're finding out that people in St. Louis love NCIS. And, yeah. and, My mother and, loves NCIS. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Yeah. And yeah. Jimmy, just people just latch onto his character, which is Brian's Brian's character. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so that's our yeah. lead. And um, and there's some really great original music in it. We had a singer-songwriter, Michael Brandmeier who wrote an original song for us inspired by the movie. Oh, that's neat too. Yeah. He yeah. actually wrote it for you guys. Yeah, he saw a cut of the movie and then and then he's a friend of ours and then they he said, I, I, I need to write a song. Wow. Yeah. And several of Caitlin's original songs are in the movie. She, we were gonna have somebody write some songs and she said, you know what, I'm working on a new album. Do you wanna listen to any of my songs? Because nobody owns them yet. Owns them and yet. we were like, absolutely. 
and two of them were just absolutely perfect for the film. Wow. It's like she wrote them for us. We'll talk more about that, right. about her song and about you finding her on the okay. internet. That's an interesting story when we come back. Don't go anywhere. We've got more after this. Remember to keep up with STL TV. All the great events also going on around St. Louis. You can friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and of course you can always watch us streaming live on STLTV.net. We'll be back with more after this. Thank you.